All right. So uh, let's talk about adding a vignette to our photos to help with emphasis. So a vignette is where you darken the edges of your photo, um, which will help the focal point or help kind of bring the eye into the center. So there's a few ways to do this. This is my favorite way. I'm going to go down to the shape tool. Notice I'm not up on this selection tool, which also is shapes. Those are just selections. I'm down here in the toolbar. I'm on this shape tool. So I'm going to go to the ellipse tool. Um, up in my options here, I'm going to make sure the fill is black. Okay, make sure I click on default, default black and white. So the fill is black. Uh, the stroke can be black as well. It does not matter. Um, you can go black or you can say um, no stroke at all. Okay. What's going to happen here is I'm going to draw a shape. And with a shape, I can change the size of the shape. I can pull the corners of it. I can manipulate this oval into any size that I want. I'm going to kind of go around the edge. Oops, there's an extra one. Just delete it. Notice in my layers panel, I've created a layer called Eclipse. Not sorry, Ellipse, not Eclipse. Um, and I am going to be working off of this layer, which is nice. So with the shape, if I look in my properties up here, and if you've got color open, you might not be able to see all of your properties here. If I make color a little bit smaller so that I can see all of my properties, I'll be able to see this pathfinder down here, which is what I'm looking for. Again, if I have color open, I could scroll down and find the pathfinder, but I choose to just shrink that up. All right. So in your shape properties, you've got like, you can change the size of things. You can change the appearance down here, just like we did up top just a minute ago. But this pathfinder is what I'm looking for. This is say color the inside. This is color the outside. So I'm going to switch from here to here so that it switches to the outside. So now I have this shape um, filled in on the outside but I need to feather this edge off. So I want this edge out here to have a gradient that goes off. What I'm gonna do is up here in my properties, this is like, hey, let's look at the shape. This little button here, that looks like the Japanese flag, but this is the sign for mask, okay? We just dealt with a lot of layer masks down here in our layers panel, layers panel but I can click on masks here. This is feather. Feather means I am going to pull this up and it's going to start feathering off my edge. Don't go too far or it's going to darken the inside, um, but I want to feather my edge. Don't worry if it is too dark. I can either pull, ooh, no, not the density, leave the density up. Once I get this here, I'm going to come down to my layer. In my layer panel, there's an opacity slider here. I'm going to go and say, hey, I like that, but I only want a little bit of it. So I'm going to pull the opacity down. I'm going to click on a different layer to sh uh, not show that shape. And then I can use the eyeball to determine, is that enough? Is it too much? Um, and then I can go and turn it down a little bit more. Okay. Uh, if you have a hard vignette, it gets, it, it gets kind of moody. Like it gets, uh, changes the um, feeling of the photo. So don't make your uh, vignettes too noticeable. It should be just a hint to where um, you don't even really see it. It's just a slight tinge. So what do I have this at? Like 16%? Yeah. Uh, so around there. Um, that is vignetting in a nutshell. As a reminder, uh, when you go to save stuff, uh, keep the file name in there. Like I like that this is called 5288 because it's my original picture from Wyoming. Um, but I'm going to go back into documents because I want it in documents and I'm going to add a vignette Wyoming or something like that. I'm going to title it, keep the name in there, keep it as a Photoshop file, save it to cloud documents, click save. 
and then I've got a good copy with my ellipse layer in it. Um, and then to turn it in or share it with your client, quick export to PNG. Um, it's already got the right name in it. And then I'm going to click save. Now that's exported to my computer. I can go ahead and share that or turn it in. Well, that's vignetting in a nutshell. Um, let me know what you think. Try it out.